foundation in my hair. You know, it looks like I have gray hair. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I am Brit Cherie, and you can hit that like and follow and subscribe buttons. I would greatly appreciate it. So yeah, so today we are going to be testing out some Lorac products. We're going to be testing out the Lorac Tantalizer Buildable Bronzing Powder, and then we're also going to be testing out the Lorac Lux Diamond Cream eyeshadows. So that is what we're testing out today. And it's going to be super funsies because we'll be all tan and we'll have like our eyeshadow on and it's going to be a fantastic good time. So please stick around for that. <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys are here with me today. So I do have a face of makeup on, you know, just my base. I have moisturizer, hyaluronic acid, primer, foundation, concealer. So we do have that on our face thing. Um, yeah, my roots are growing out, so I do, <laughs> I did get a little bit of foundation in my roots, but that's also mostly my natural hair color is like this blondish red color, so <laughs> that's what that is. It's growing out. I need to dye it. Let me know what color you guys think that I should dye my hair next. Um, I might go back to red. I am a natural redhead. I was digging the black. I like the black. Can't be anything crazy because I have like a day job where I can't do that. But you guys let me know what color you guys think I should dye my hair next. All right, so we are going to jump right in. We're going to go in with the Lorac Tantalizer Buildable Bronzing Powder. This is in the color Golden Girl. I love the Golden Girls. Thank you for being a friend. I love the Golden Girls. So this says, discover your inner glowing goddess with Lorac. Um, buildable bronzing powder, highly pigmented, formulated to offer long-lasting, natural-looking warmth for radiant, radiant, I can't talk, radiant skin. So we will be going in with this. It's a beautiful packaging. It's a gold package, gold mirror package. It's gorgeous. Oh, it's so pretty. It's shimmery. It looks like it has a shimmer to it. So we're going to go ahead and swatch that. It's very soft. It's also very golden. So that's what it looks like. It's very shimmery. It's almost like a golden highlighter is what it reminds me of. That's what it looks like on the finger. Doesn't that remind you guys of like a golden highlighter? Of like the like Fenty Trophy Wife or like the Marc Jacobs Omega Glaze? That's what that looks like. So we're going to try it out as a bronzer and put it on our face. So I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques brush. This is a 003. It is a contour bronzing brush. So that's what we're going to go in with. I don't know how pigmented this is going to be on my face. So we're going to, I'm going to go with it. Oh, mm -hmm. that is very golden bronze. I don't even know if you would need a highlighter. Yeah, it diffuses a little bit on the skin, it looks like. So it's not as shimmery when you put it over foundation, it doesn't seem like, as it is when it's just normally on your skin. It is a gorgeous color. It is pretty. Let's do a little bit up here because I have a massive forehead. I was reading an article the other day that that like actually used to be like the thing like with royalty in like the 16th century where like super elongated high foreheads like massive foreheads totally used to be the beauty standard. like shave their hairlines back and stuff to like elongate their forehead. It's the weirdest thing. I don't know. It's not at all good looking today, but <laughs> apparently that used to be the thing. Yeah. I kind of really like that. You guys, I'm not going to lie. Kind of digging it. It did just give me a nice color. It blends in really well. 
it's not shimmery like I thought it would be like it was on our hand like it was on my hand it's not it doesn't show up that way on your face at all it's magic it almost worked as kind of a contouring on me where it, it kind of chiseled out this part of my face I actually really like it I don't know what is going on here but we like it and we approve all right let's move on to eyeshadow so we're going to try these Lorac Luxe Diamond Cream Eyeshadows. I don't know how I feel about cream eyeshadows. It says Brilliant Color and Diamond Shine Lacquers Lids. I don't know if lacquers was the right word to use there because that, I don't like that word when it comes to makeup. But anyway, um, from day to night, crease resistant and smudge resistant. We're going to test that smudge resistantness. We will boxes are hard to get open. So this is what they look like. Little Lorac. So we have the shades Satin, Suede, and Velvet. I don't know what shades these are yet because I haven't opened them. So we're going to see if they even will go together and what colors they are. I, I mean, I would assume from like Suede that there's a brown in there. I would assume. but you know what happens when you assume things. So, the color Suede. I feel like I'm trying to open a jar of pickles. <laughs> There's a seal, that's why I couldn't open it. Pretty sure sometimes I'm. Ooh, so it's sparkly. So that is Suede. And we will swatch these as well. This is velvet. It looks like a mauve brown. And then this one is satin. If I can get the thing off. And it looks almost like a champagne -y. Yeah, like a gold, gold champagne. So we will swatch these. I think these will actually come together to make a really nice, I look. So here, ooh, so that is suede. That's velvet. Sorry, this one is suede. The first one was satin and then velvet and then this one is suede. Look at those. Let's see. Oh yeah, those are nice. Look at that. So those are the colors. I think that'll make a really good eye look. I think that'll be cute. So we're gonna go on with those. They're not, they don't feel like a cream. They feel like a really softly pressed powder. So I wonder if they're like a cream to powder kind of thing, kind of moment. Um, we're gonna go in with that. I am gonna zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Hi, we're much closer now. So I'm gonna go in first. I think I'm gonna go in first with satin and we're gonna use that as our kind of transition shade. I'm wondering if these will work with a brush or if you'll really need, I mean, it seemed to saturate it.
camera. We're gonna finish our eyes. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then we'll be right back. Okay, so we're back and we have a full face of makeup. Um, and just threw on a quick lash. You guys, so these Lorac Luxe eyeshadows, there's these little cream pots. They are silky, they are smooth, and you can literally, look at that, you can literally do an eye look in like three minutes. Like that is how easy they go on. That is how well they blend together. You could do an everyday eye look if you got browns or golds or whatever. Literally three to five minutes and you're done. It is stunning it is easy I'm very pleasantly surprised now if you don't want a shimmery eye these are not for you um, I don't know if they have any mattes but all the ones that I got are all shimmers but they're gorgeous and they blend beautifully and they're super quick and simple so this is the finished eye look and we have our bronzer on and I really like these products you guys so again we have the Lorac Luxe these are the I don't even remember. These are the Diamond Cream eyeshadows. And we used three of them. And then we also used the Lorac Tantalizer Buildable Bronzing Powder. Again, this is in the shade Golden Girl. And it, look at this. It bronzed and kind of even chiseled me a little bit, like beautifully. It looks really shimmery. It's not shimmery on your skin. And these are gorgeous and super, super easy, and I approve of all of these. So I will put the prices down below of what these are. I really liked all of these products. Nothing I ever do is sponsored. Nothing's ever sent to me in PR, so I will give you my honest reviews. And if anything ever is sent to me, I will let you know. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and trying these new products with me. Um, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Again, hit that like and follow and subscribe button if you haven't already. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys.